dishes of stone, Bearhole, too rude to share a meal with friends. Can the jaws of Hakon not catch their own fish? Or are those jaws only good for flapping? Mind your tongue, Bogwalker. Stone Bearhold may not always shelter you. And you will need shelter when the cold winds come. <laughs> Yet I feel only hot air. When the jaws of Hakon rule, you will wish you had been generous. <laughs> if your weak lady has not already picked your foolish bones clean. The Inquisitor! Let his blood bathe the blades of the jaws of Hakon! Death to the Lowlanders! Glory to Hakon! They call Inquisitor. I am Harvey Robson. Well fought. The fish will feed on fool's heart wine this night. I know not what brings you here, but we have no quarrel, you and I. How long have you lived in the basin? Stone Bear Hole's been here a few generations. I was born further north, but we left before I could remember. It was a good life, until the jaws of Hacken arrived. They brought trouble with them. People are expecting a raid. You don't agree? They seem bigger fools than that, for all the boasting. That cannot say what they plan, but it bodes ill. I find myself in need of a boat. I need to reach that island. The ladies rest. What? That island belongs to the Lady of the Skies. The spirits want us to leave it be. Of course they do. I don't wish to disturb your lady, but it's important. If I give you the boat, and you anger the spirits and die, other lowlanders may come for blood. That is trouble for my home, and not my trouble to take. Go to Stone Bear Hold and speak with my thane. As far as sun there, get her blessing. And you may sail to Korth's rocky heart, if you wish. Entertaining? We should speak with the Thane. This is not my hold, Lowlander. I will not shed your blood here. 
You will face the full might of the jaws of Hakon soon enough. We've heard of your arrival, Lowlanders. Come, share my fire where we might speak. Inquisitor, I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stonebear Hold. You have guest welcome here. The Lowlanders have little love for their mages. I am impressed that you came to lead this Inquisition. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. We have come on a mission. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. Sadly, the Jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their Thane, Gerd Harrifson. I wager you have crossed blades with the Jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. I'd like to know more about the Jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? What do the Jaws of Hakon believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fireside for making babies. The Hakonites care only for Hakon Winter's Breath, god of war and winter. There is no evil in Hakon. There are times to fight, but the Jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They raid, they fight. Eventually they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. What can you tell me about the people now calling themselves the Jaws of Hakon? They came here a few years ago, after the Blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrifson lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing, but only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. You said that there were earlier groups known as the Jaws of Hakon. Yes. Many ages ago, they thought of nothing but slaughter glory. They attacked the Lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. I'll speak with you later. Fair hunting. Inquisitor? The Hakonites are attacking my people. I would welcome any assistance you could offer. Bathing my blade in the blood of the Hakonites would be cause for a feast for most in this hold. The Hakonites are fools, and they have forgotten the old ways. But we have pledged peace with them. To attack with Lowlanders at our side would make us Oathbreakers. This is poor weather for me to ask that of my hold. I'm not hearing a no, Thane Sunhair. Among the Avar, a hold draws strength from its hold beast. They are as kin to us. When our hold beast is strong and happy, there is joy. When it sickens and dies, it is an ill omen. Our bear, Storvaka, has not been seen in days. The Hold fears for her. I cannot ask the Hold to break peace oaths unless Storvaka returns. The way you asked us to help find Storvaka made it sound like you were willing to break your oath. I could say that Avar hold all oaths sacred, that no true Avar would break them. It would be a good lie. Lowlanders doubtless say the same of themselves. A cunning Thane can find a hole in the tent of any promise. A place for the cold wind to sneak in. We are bone and blood. Oaths last until they are broken. If I find your bear and you break the oath, what happens to Stonebear Hold? Other holds share oaths with the Jaws of Hakon. They are sworn to defend or avenge them. If the Hakonites were friends, they would attack us. But they are friends to few. We will send offerings, trade, and gifts to pay the price of oath-breaking. The storm will pass. I do not do this lightly, Inquisitor. But the Hakonites are tiresome. Does Storvaka usually live in the hold? Does she stay in a pen, or...? <sighs> Pens are for goats and chickens, not hold kin. The Avar are free. So must be our hold beasts. Storvaka lives in a cave near the hold. She comes to visit if she wishes to see us. We bring her gifts of food. Not enough that she will not hunt for herself. 
Do you have members of the Hold searching for Storvaker? The Hold is already fearful. A great hunt for our Hold beast would show weakness to the Hakonites. If she were dead, the Augur would know. So the hunters watch for tracks. That is all we can do. I'm a little confused about why I have to find a bear in order to gain the support of your tribe. Storvaker is not a bear. She is our hold beast. She ties us to the gods. Without her, we... Your maker has turned from you, has he not? It is as that. I know more of this world than the world of spirits. Speak with our augur if you would know more. They're our gods, not yours. For you, it is enough that Storvaker matters to us. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but bears and I traditionally do not get along. You were four bears. <laughs> you lived. Good for you. Fear will keep you respectful should you find Storvaka. You will be fine. So you're saying she's friendly? Um... I was told I needed your permission to borrow a boat from the fisherman. Bah, Rolfson. He worries like a scared baby goat. The boat is yours. Tell him I said so. How did you get the name Sunhair? I was born Svara Janus Dutton. For my legend mark, I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. You lit your hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. It stank worse than goat shit, though. When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. What was that? The test of the lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the Mountain Father, you battle with verse while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is battle with blunted weapons. Those tests only prove who is faster or stronger, not who is right. Are your lowland trials perfect? Can the wealthy or quick-witted not succeed even when their claim is weak? As Thane, I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. I'd like to hear more about Stone Bear Hold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong and our singers are pretty. Ah, oh, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. I'll speak with you later. Ask those in the hold about Storvaka. They may know something they have not told me. You're the Inquisitor. I hear your people already sing songs of you. How are you so well informed? Oh, Hellstim soaks up gossip when he goes trading. He just returned from the lowlands. I'm Fulner Hethstotten, keeper of histories and skull to the hold. I've never met a skald. Is that anything like a bard? I suppose. Every hold has someone who sings its songs. Doesn't yours? Fair enough. We keep the old songs and histories, the oaths and the legend marks. I understood all of that except legend mark. The skull before me was born Gulda Elsdotter. She crafted a great new tale for the hold. It pleased the spirits. After that, we called her Gulda Gildan's song. So they're titles, 
Honorifics. Not all carry glory. My father was Heth Mule's head. He'd never let go of a quarrel. Can you choose a legend mark for yourself? <laughs> only if I wanted to be scorned as a child. I've only been a scold a few years. I've not made any great feats, good or ill. Yet. Farewell. Good journeys. Visitor, I'm honored by your visit. I'm Finn Col... Um... Finn Colvinson. Forgive me if I don't stand to greet you properly. How were you injured? A storm blew up a few months back. It's the worst we've seen in a while. I was helping to secure the fishing boats. Einar nearly fell in. I caught him, but the current caught me. My leg got crushed against the rocks. It hasn't set properly. You seem troubled. Is it your injury? In part. Gida Myrdotten prepares my father's body for sky burial. Hurt and harrowed, knotted and nameless, can't be him, could never be him. But who am I? How did... Yes. I knew it would be soon. I just... I miss him. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. I think I've seen the ugliest possible of our statue. A new one turns up that surpasses my expectations. So, come to test yourself. How so? Our warriors want your measure, Inquisitor. Bring us an offering, and we'll let you fight Hakon's trials. Stonebear Hold would know if the spirits favor you. So would I. Why do you pray to Hakon when his fanatics cause you so much trouble? Akon Winter's Breath could be testing us through those fanatics. He could be a cruel god, Lowlander. He'll favor the victor and no other. Strength to strength. If the jaws of Hakon tried to raid us, we'll feed their scraps to the bears. I hear your hold animal's missing. Do you know where she might be? I can't help you, Inquisitor. I always keep my distance from Stormacher. Why is that? She knit me good as a cub. Scar still itches when it rains. Do you run this arena? I do. I'm called Arkan Felsen. I prepare warriors for the gods. Truly, I drill it into young heads that no one's born knowing how the axe swings or the arrow flies. What do you mean, prepare your warriors for the gods? As we train, the gods see us become worthy. Worthy of what? A second strength when you most need it. A glimpse that spots a blade in your heart. Warriors must show their will for these gifts the will for practice. Impossible. These people would all be abominations if this were true. Spirits do sometimes interfere when the veil permits. Occasionally for the better. Our augur's no fool. We keep the bad spirits at bay. Or spot them in those who draw them. The famous last words of the overconfident. What is this trial, exactly? A battle against our best. Wit and muscle steel against steel. Not to death, just surrender. In case you're afraid. Oh, that's a relief. Wouldn't want to widow the entire village. Oh, I like this. Bring the stomach to match those fine words. Can we begin this trial of Hakon? We need an offering from you first. To honor Hakon and the dead. Farewell. Safe journeys.
you're the one they speak about in the lowlands, aren't you? The Herald of Andraste. Many call me that. Helm's Dim Rolfson. I trade our goods outside the hold. You'll not find better this side of the mountain. Have you traveled outside of Stone Bear Hold? Korth Mountain Father provides. But press us, and we'll admit there's lowlander goods we can't craft ourselves. I sell our goods there. The old trader taught me how to read and write, and how to act in your cities. Where does your trading take you? Denerim and Southreach in Ferelden. Leeds and Verche in Orlais. When the passes are clear, I take our wares to Val Royo. Surely you can get a fair price for your goods closer than Val Royo. Ah, well, that's truth, but have you seen it? My heart lies with the hold. But I'll die remembering the light on the gates of the sun. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. Everyone thinks I'm mad when I speak of Orlais. They believe I make half of it up. As if I could dream up those fountains and palaces, and those frilly little cakes. Most in the hold call any city outside the mountains prideful luck. Lowlander folly. Farewell. Another time. Behold, worthy ones, the man who blazes like fire and mends the air. What is this? Hello. They're not powerful, I don't think. I am the ogre of Stone Bear Hold. I greet you, as do our gods and the gods of our ancestors. <laughs> it is done. Now come, be welcome, and hear news of the North. Do you know where your hold beast may have gone? Stovaka? No. I've asked the gods, but they've seen no sign. I found skulls with spells on them left out by the Hakonites. What are they trying to do? Skulls? So... Bones. <laughs> Magic cloaked in blood. Stone hidden lie the tales of this hold. Here's the means to find them. Return when you've seen all the god runes, and I'll tell you why the jaws of Hakon did this. Why not just say what's going on? Because you hail from the lowlands. If you'd know more about the Avar, put some effort in the knowing. Besides, those runes took me months to carve. I met a mage in the woods who said she used to be an augur's apprentice. Sigrid Goldstoth. She left the hold when I told her she must release her teacher. Aren't you her teacher? She might have heeded me if I were. <laughs> or perhaps not. It's time the spirit in her was free. She's an abomination? Every mage in the hold is made one with the gods, until they're strong enough. I thought Sigrid strong enough. Exile was her own motion. Why did Sigrid go into exile? Sigrid built an altar by the shore for her rite of thanksgiving. A ritual to part her from her teacher. Sigrid claims her offering was spurned by the gods. The spirit remains with her, which is taken to exile. Did you just introduce me to spirits? The gods of the hold clamored to see you. I obeyed. For I'm their voice and their augur. And if I didn't show you off, they'd hound me for months. What did you mean when you said I blazed like a fire? How do you think you appear to the gods of the Fade? To those beyond the Veil? Your hand burns like the Watchman's bonfire. Are you saying every spirit in the Fade knows where I am? Only those nearby, but thoughts spread quickly among the gods. I see you've already killed one. A thing of envy that grasp for your crown. I'd like to ask something. Then ask. You let spirits possess your mages on purpose? What better teacher than one woven from magic? The spirits in the hold have helped us in this way for hundreds of years. Once a mage masters their powers, their teacher departs, duty ended. Unless the mage is weak. What happens to these weak mages? Their teachers stay with them, and the other gods watch them both, 
so neither soul turns sick. If one does sicken, or the mage stands in risk of harming the hold, one day they do not wake in their bed. It is very sad. It is what must be done. I assume augur is another word for mage. I am a mage. Yet not all mages are augurs. I give counsel to other mages, and the same. In turn, an augur takes counsel from the gods and shares it with the hold. I make their will known to us, and ours to them. So you're an ambassador to the local spirits. They protect the hold. They help drive off spirits who've gone bad with rage or gloom. The gods live with us. Ignore their offerings, offer them nothing, and it weakens us all. I've heard enough to realize that when you say gods, you mean spirits. Why do you pray to them? We offer to them. We don't pray like the lowlanders to a creator they think will weather all the ages. Do you actually think they're divine beings? Something more than magic? The spirits watched us even before we came from the north. They shaped themselves into our gods. We grew to love them. Their secret gift is this, Inquisitor. They reflect us as water does the sky. They show us what we wish to be. That image gives us strength. For that, we thank the gods. I should be off. Farewell. Welcome, Inquisitor. Though I fear I've time for little more than a greeting. I must prepare these souls for their greater journey. Particularly those who depart without the reverence due. Their way is often hardest. I'm not familiar with Avar funerals. May I ask what proper rites entail? When the time comes, we are given sky burials. For most, the body is laid out and prayers given. When the birds come, they carry the soul to the Lady of the Skies. The body, unneeded, is gone. For most? Some souls, such as Colden's, are chosen to return. The Augur reads the signs of birth. It is a rare honor. In order to return, an offering is made to Korth the Mountain Father and buried beneath the body. A piece of the soul thus remains allowing the rest to return to this world and be reborn. Will someone not be given proper rights? Calden Enverson is one of the few whose soul may return. Bloodkin must make an offering to the Huntmaster who prepares it. Or so it should be. Calden's son, Finn, has failed in this duty, but then... there's you. Me? You're a guest of our hold. A gift from you cannot be refused. Even an offering for Golden. I cannot dictate the nature of a gift, but if my suggestion appeals to you, speak to the Huntmaster. Golden's son is injured. It's not his fault he can't make the offering. As disappointing as that may be, it is not my place to ignore the gods' laws on a whim. I honor them in word and spirit, Inquisitor. You suggested a way around tradition by letting me make the offering. The spirits have seen Finn fail. To undo it may be to undo their will. A gift from another does not bear this weight. Holden's soul could travel easily. I should be off. Lady, keep you. Oh, yeah. Lowland. 
this from the north. Inquisitor, you've need of a hunter, or you're just wandering. Now you lowlanders see many holes, and I'll tell you, there are none finer. I assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says otherwise? No one. I lead our hunts, Inquisitor. My leg aches. One eye can't see in the dark. And I bring more meat than anyone in the hold. Goat's piss do I hunt. I apologize. I was just curious. <laughs> Suppose you can't help Lowlander's manners. Do you have any idea where Storbacker has gone? Our hold animal's a hungry one. She might be after the game in the valley to the west. As the weather's turning, I'd not think she'd run further. I spoke to the woman preparing bodies for funeral. She said I might make an offering. A call. How would... As a gift? Sly woman. In that case, I'll accept an offering from the hand that gives it. Tradition says the offering's made to Koth. Only creatures who touch the gods' realm will do. I'll mark where someone last spotted. It'd be an unmatched gift, Lowlander. I still pity Colden's son, though, losing his father's name. What do you mean? Finn failed to complete the rites. That'll see him disowned when the burial's complete. He's fatherless whether you do this or not, Inquisitor. Seeing it done will give him some peace, I imagine. Farewell. Farewell. Inquisitor. I know about your father's burial. And the offering. I tried. I dragged myself out of this cursed bed, but the pain... I collapsed. The Huntmaster found me and dragged me back. Said we didn't need another dead man. I'm told I can make the offering as a gift for the Hold. I'll try to do so for your father. He won't be my father much longer. The loss of your name. It doesn't matter. Whether or not he's my father, I still love him. I would not see his soul severed from the earth if it's meant to return. If you can make a gift of the offering, there's no way I could repay you. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. should be here. Where did she get to? Are you looking for someone? My cousin Runa. She's off north climbing the hills instead of helping with the cat again. Farewell. Good day to you.
of stone here, and a Navar axe. They left it here to mark a trail, perhaps. The woman at the beach said her cousin Runa went climbing. Maybe this is where she began. <laughs> yeah! Another trail marker. <laughs> Mountain climber was here. It's a hill, not a mountain. Or will it be a mountain one day? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Another marker here. Lowlanders were about. You'd be the Inquisitor from the hand. Your cousin was looking for you. Oh? Oh, the fishing! I was to help Lena with the fishing. I must make an offering to the gods first. Shall I give your names in the prayer? What's an offering prayer? I've climbed this hill a thousand times. Today, it was as if a wind from the spirits lifted me. I was going to thank the gods with a brace of nugs. That beast must have scented the meat. You offer meat to spirits? The Lady of the Skies sends her birds, and Korth Mountain Father sends his wolves and bears. They wouldn't normally hear the prayer of a lowlander, but since you helped in the fight, I'll speak for you. I'd be honored to be mentioned in your offering. The spirits will remember. It is nice to be remembered. A prayer? to spirits. Is this wise? Sometimes a spirit's attention can linger. The lady keeps the skies where blows the morning wind. Korth grants mountain shelter, hack on blooded hide and bone. Take this gift from Runa Lear's daughter. I'm the Inquisitor from the lands below. I just felt something. A blessing? That's a good sign. You bring fine luck, Harold. Well, I didn't expect it to just pop up. We've been favored. The gods don't always appear. I'll tell Lena this tale. Perhaps a good story will put a smile on her face.
The auger told me why you're here. That... that Chatterjee! What business is it of his to tell that to a lowlander? About the ritual you were performing, Sigrid. I had to burn a proper offering, then let my guiding spirit free. I made the offering the gods did not accept. I found a bird in incense by the altar. They weren't burnt at all. I... I brought more than I needed. When I fled, I left everything. You would have needed to take the lyrium at the start of the ritual, not the end. Aye. And so? The vial I found was full. Do you accuse me, stranger? I'd just like to help another mage, if you need it. Will you understand? I hear lowlander mages see the gods differently. I made no offering. I prepared. I began the spell to release the spirit here with me. And? I could not do it. I have no close companions in the hold, no kin. I cannot lose my only friend. You're friends with this spirit. It has taught me with patience and kindness since I was a child. Frightened of the fire, I could suddenly call down. It loves you too. It will stay if you want it. I know. But I was oath sworn to release it when the time came. I do not want to lose the one who loves me. It would be hard to let go of such a unique friendship. It is. Yet I swore an oath. I think the Augur knew. All this time he knew I never cast the ritual. It is not right to stay in pity. I will confess to him. Ah. The Inquisition could use a mage with a unique perspective. You and your spirit certainly qualify. You want me to pledge my staff to your Inquisition? Even bound to a spirit? Your people consider it a gift. I'm sure you can handle yourself. 
It's good to have a home where you can feel yourself. Inquisitor? She is an abomination. It must be punishment from the gods to serve a lowlander for my oath-breaking. It fits my shame. I'll find your camps and join you. This should be enough for the offering. The hold is a place, but also the people in it. Like Finn, if he gave the offering, he will hurt, but less. Kind though that may be, it bends the laws of their tradition. It's something to consider. Following a scent, something good, fresh, a treat, then trapped, nets and clubs and pain. She's nearby, caged, cramped, can't get free. We need to help her.
Admiral, do you have any proof about what you claim Lord Seeker Lambert did? I was there. I didn't need proof. But he could have been brought to justice. There are rules. He used rules to hurt people. He always found a way to be right, even when he killed my friend. You had a friend? A pretty Templar. She died protecting Reese and me. But she got better. I don't even want to know what that means. See any wares you like? I found some notes scattered across the basin. I believe they belong to you. I lost them in a week. Book? You turned the pages into a real book. Is that all right? It's beautiful. Here, in return, a fine rune stone from the old Tavinta ruins. It's the least I can offer. I read some of your notes. Do you really believe everything you wrote? Everything has an explanation, Inquisitor. Through the actions of men or the gods. We... We're all connected in a web of amazing things. I feel it. I only need the right vantage to see it. I could use an experienced traveler to go far and wide and write back what he saw. You wish me to join you? Your Inquisition? You'd be paid to visit places all over the world. It might give you that vantage you seek. Why the gods, all of Thedas. And you'd pay me to write to you. You'll not regret this. I'll give word to Thane Sun here, then join your hold. So, Sigrid Goldstone will come out of exile to join your Inquisition. Do you object? It would be good for Sigrid to see what lies beyond the hold. Under the Inquisition's protection, the Lowlands treat mages differently than the other. I found all the Veilfire runes around the village. What did you take as the purpose of the tale? It was about your gods returning, but in different forms. One of our oldest stories. Taught to us as children by the Skolds. Mountains crack, forests burn. The gods change and die. Hakon's followers want him alive as he was. They will not let him die and return as he should. The blood magic was to hide the jaws of Hakon's deed from other gods. They have powerful magic. Why are the jaws of Hakon afraid of other spirits? The jaws of Hakon turn their backs on all other gods that ever held their hold. It is not fear that drives them. They hide their deeds from shame. I should be off. Farewell. <laughs> Inquisition has brought an offering to enter your trials. Yes. Oh, this will be a fight to remember. I mean, enter the arena grounds. Akon's trials await. Farewell. Safe journeys.
maneuver with Well, you saw well fought, Inquisitor. Well, safe journeys. Inquisitor. Here. An offering for your father. From you. Inquisitor, I can't. Consider my gift to the hold a gift to you. Though perhaps don't spread that around. But the Huntmaster... Said he'd accept an offering from the hand that gave it. Uh, I... I don't know what to say. Say the words he would want. Fly to the lady in peace and come back soon. Thank you. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. Heard you passed Hakon's trials. If you hunt as well as you fight, you'll fit in well. Farewell. Farewell. Finn Caldenson's a good lad. His father was always proud of him. Still would be. Farewell. Farewell. Our huntmaster prepares an offering from Finn Caldenson. Nothing more has been said. I will only thank you for paying hospitality to an invalid. I must complete the preparations. A strange turn of events may not make Calden's journey any easier. The gods measure both outcome and the actions, or deceptions, behind it. I should be off. Lady, keep you. Drinking Hakonite chicken craps. Thank you, Inquisitor. Storvacker has returned. My hunters saw what you and she did to the Hakonites who held her. In trapping Storvacker, the jaws of Hakon broke their peace oath with Stone Bear Hold. Our blades are yours. I assume your bear is all right after whatever they were going to do to her. She is fine. As for what they were going to do. My hunters brought items back from where they held Storvaka. I know what they intended. It is not something you will like. Something few Avar would tell Lowlanders. But you must hear it. The jaws of Hakon sought to bind their god in mortal form and bring war to the Lowlands. By saving your bear, have we put an end to their plans? Though you have given them pause, they will try again. Ages ago, the old Jaws of Hakon did the same. They brought their god to life to destroy the Lowlands. Their foolishness lost Hakon to all Avar. Now they would free him and begin again. What did you mean when you said that their foolishness lost Hakon to all Avar? When they bound Hakon to mortal form, he became blood of this world. He could hear no prayers, nor speak to the Augurs. All he could do was kill. Then he vanished instead of dying, as though rendered mute, lost for ages. If they sought to free him from mortal form, I could understand. Making him attack the Lowlands is a fool's work. The Avar wouldn't like the idea of war with the Lowlands. Is that what your skulls say? <laughs> it does us no harm to be feared. If our land is threatened, we will happily fight. And a raid here and there keeps both sides sharp. But we have no need of your lowlands. Not when our goats are fat and our fish are plenty. And not when the sky is torn with demons. Only a fool fights in a burning boat. What would happen if the jaws of Hakon succeeded in their plan? Hakon would come to the lowlands in the form of a great beast. The Hakonites would join him. Their numbers swelled by foolish young warriors dreaming of honor names. Even if war were needed, 
It should not be like that. With gods wreaking havoc in blood-soaked fields. The gods should stay where they belong. Based on what we know, what must we do to stop the job from happening? Their hold is an old lowlander fortress. It is shielded by a great wall of ice. Magic even the Hakonites do not know. Unravel its magic, and we will scatter their bones so the Lady never finds them. We still need a way to melt the wall of ice around the Hakonites' fortress. Do you have any ideas? No. It is lowlander magic and nothing to do with us. Our spirit talkers are useless as battle goats. The Hakonites must have found the magic in the old fortress. Speak to your people. Perhaps they will know more. I'll speak with you later. Walk with the Lady's blessing.